Welcome to another episode of Online Dating with Patsy, the podcast. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and now Happy New Year. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. This will be the last show for 2021. First off, I want to thank you all for tuning in to all my podcast episodes this year. I started this in March, and I'm just starting to get the swing of it all, I hope. Um, anyway, um, first on my story list for today, this happened to me at the, or try, someone tried to have it happen to me at the end of November. I got a new iPhone, and so I was trying to sell my iPhone 11. I sell it on Facebook and the next door app and Craigslist. Well, some guy through Instagram sent me a message through Facebook Messenger and said he was interested in the phone. I, at the time, I had it, the sale pending. And he said he would pay me $100 more than I was asking for. So I'm like, well, okay. So I gave him my cash app. He said um, he had sent it to me. I didn't need it. I didn't see it, I mean. I didn't see it come through. And he gave me the song and dance that I would need to have a business account. So what he'll do is he's going to send me the $150 so that I can have the business account in addition to the sale of the phone. And then I am to send him the $150 back to him. And then it would all be fine and dandy. Well, I recorded the audio conversation of this, and of course, I know better. And of course, I looked up his cash app, and it's all on my blog. And it's titled, Someone Tried to Scam Me For Real, LOL. So check out that story, and you can listen to the conversation, the audio conversation that we had. But that's kind of funny. Someone trying to scam me? Serious? You gotta be kidding. I know the game. But like I said, I was curious and I wanted to see what was going to happen and how it was going to play out. But that was very interesting. My next story is, and again, this is on my blog and you can read the whole thing, was someone, a scammer, was pretending to be my real friend on Instagram. It's one of my friends that I've known for a very long time. And I was surprised, first off, when I heard from her. And then I, of course, looked at the account, saw it was new, and so I knew it wasn't my real friend. So, of course, I did a screenshot and sent it to her. But I played along. I played the game, said all kinds of wacky stuff, and then, of course, I came in for the takedown. But that story is on my blog, and you really need to check it out because it's another good one. Next is, of course, I had another fake Mark Zuckerberg. I had another fake Chris Evans. Keanu Reeves seems to be all over the place. Let me correct that. Fake Keanu Reeves. Um, this is all on Instagram. And last night, before I went to bed, the one Keanu Reeves, I went and looked, and there was people commenting, you know, about his picture and how cute he is and all that. And so I would go to each one of those pictures and type scammer, scammer, scammer. And on the ladies who were commenting on his picture, I messaged them privately to say, hey, he's a scammer, he's not the real deal. Um, a couple of them did know that and they were just messing with him and this other lady didn't know that, she was surprised. And of course, I send them a link to my blog so they can see that I'm not just some crazy lady bothering them like all these scammers do to let them know, hey, this guy is not real, he's fake. Of course, right now I think I have three more Keanu Re fake Keanu Reeves on the uh, coming up to bat soon, so I have to go and contact them. I also got my first fake Channing Tatum, and I can't think of the guy's name, but he was in A, a Star is Born with Lady Gaga, and I can see his face and his name. I had He came on, but then all of a sudden his messages disappear, so maybe he didn't hang around, but that was kind of funny. And my next newbie is I got a message from fake Christian Bale, who played Batman. So I haven't talked to him at all yet, but I'll, I'll get to that stuff later on tonight. And now on to some really sad news. Um, breaks my heart, but there was a story about a St. Louis woman who was being used as a money mule. I put this on my blog. She was 81 years old. 
I watched the video of her. She's trying to work with the FBI to help them. Now, I'm going to play the audio from the video that the FBI made with her. You'll want to watch it because they have little captions that pop up and, and tells you stuff. But just listening to it, you can't help but feel sorry for this lady. I know there are haters and mean people out there who make fun of people like this, but you really can't do that. Um, but anyway, here is the audio of that video. My name is Glenda and I'm 81 years old. In 2014, I met the love of my life online and he told me that he was a U.S. citizen and was working in Nigeria. He asked me for money to help with his business and help leave Nigeria. Then my love had people send me electronics, like cell phones, so I could pawn them and send him the money. When I couldn't get the money that he wanted, he asked me to open personal and business bank accounts. Since 2015, bank employees, local police officers, and federal agents told me that my love was a scam and that I needed to stop or I could go to jail. I didn't listen to anyone else but my love, the love I've never seen nor spoken to. Now I don't have a choice of whom I'll listen to. On November the 2nd, 2021, I pled guilty to two federal felonies. I'll be listening to the judge now. I don't know about you, but that completely breaks my heart to hear her say that. Again, I encourage you to watch the video. The FBI made this video, and last I read, she is trying to help them. So, you know... Talk to your elderly parents, friends, relatives, neighbors, church friends, whatever. You know, check in on them. Don't let them fall for something like this. Now, I have another short story I received from Special Agent Marie Smith. She was on Episode 4 of my podcast. She's a Special Agent for the North Carolina Bureau of Investigation. So she said, we have an older victim, 72, who we have visited once in person and talked on the phone for hours to try to convince her that the man on the oil rig is a scammer. She said she believed us, but at that point had already sent him so much money, she felt she needed to sell her house, her house to put money back into her savings account. Well, would you know, she sold her house and turned around and sent her scammer $150,000 of the proceeds of the sale. Her brother and sister are doing their best to help her, but she won't listen. She hasn't turned into a mule yet, but it's only a matter of time. This is really sad to hear at this time of year. Actually, it's sad to hear any time of year. Um... I need your help. They need your help. Everybody needs your help. We need to do something about this that to try and stop our friends and relatives from doing this. I don't know what else to do except to keep doing what I'm doing. And maybe you can help too. I know you can. I, I know you can. You can help. You can talk to neighbors. You can talk to friends. I know I say that all the time. But you really can help. Check in on them. Make sure they're not doing stuff like this. And it's, you know, don't make fun of them. I say this a lot. Don't make fun of them. It's hard for some people, older or young, and you're lonely and you just want somebody to talk nice to you and be nice to you. And that's why they fall for this. So we need to stop it. We need to get the word out. And I know it's hard because, like this lady that Marie Smith was telling, emailed me about, she still did it, even after they talked to her and she knew this. Um, it's kind of like sometimes when you get married and you think, oh, I can change him. You can't change him. He's not going to change. 
And it's the same with these scammers. I think, in my opinion, some of the women feel like, well, I can change him. He won't be like that. And I totally get it. I do. I understand it. But unfortunately, there's nothing you can do. As I always say, they don't love you. They love your money. And keep your money. Spend it on yourself. Spend it on your family. Don't send it to somebody you don't know. Please don't do that. I do have a couple other stories that I've recently put on my blog uh, this month in November. Um, one was you know, about a, another lady being used as a money mule. Um, also, I found some great information because someone brought this up to me about is a scammer trying to get unemployment benefits in your name? So I got this information off the one of the government websites and put it there. So check that out because we don't need them trying to get your money. Better Business Bureau also posted something about the 12 scams of Christmas, uh, which can apply at any time of the year, really. Check that out on my blog as well. I have that there. Um, you know, I want some guests on my show. As much as I could sit here and talk for hours, I think you would get bored. <laughs> um, I'm really interested in anybody that has their own scammer stories. Um, anyone that has had good luck with online dating where you met your significant other or any crazy online dating stories in general. I know I had somebody on a couple episodes ago and she shared her crazy online stories of guys that she actually met in person. Um, I'm always looking for people to come on and talk. And, you know, if you're on my show, you get a free t-shirt. You know, I make it. I mail it to you for free. Um, I just ask that you take a picture of yourself in it so I can put it on my wall in my living room slash office at my house. Um, you know, it's the holiday season still. And even though we should do this all year long, be nice to people. Say hi. Um, just you know, be friendly. There's so much stuff going on besides scammers. And it's, you know, just saying hi to somebody. I do that when I go to the McDonald's every morning to get my soda. If there's somebody coming in, I'm always like, good morning. Even though I have a face mask on, they can't see how big I'm smiling. But they always say hello back. You know, I've yet to meet anybody that didn't say hello back to me. And if they don't, it's okay. My feelings are not hurt. But take a minute be nice to people. Um, I'm on TikTok now. It's Patsy Online or Online Dating with Patsy. Um, check out my videos. Um, I'm going to try to do a live stream tomorrow night on New Year's Eve later in the evening and just talk about my blog. And if anybody has questions or whatever, I have some fun videos on there. Check them out. I'm still trying to get on the Ellen Show so that I can talk about this and people will read my blog and see all the information that I've collected and my conversations with all the quote boyfriends unquote. So as the last podcast for 2021, I wish you much love. Thank you for allowing me into your life so that you listen to my, when you listen to my podcast and when you read my blog, because I want you to know, I truly appreciate it. I adore all of you. I think you're all great. We're all great. We all have to try to be happy. So come back next year. I'm going to do my best to do more podcasts. I'm trying to get people on the show. So as I end every podcast, every show, never send money to someone you don't know.